Modern art is an art that was created in the late 19th century. Apart from modern art, there are other arts that took the form of modern art. And they include painting, sculpture, architecture and graphic arts. These are a few forms of arts that have become popular in the 20th and 21st century. Basically, the modern art is power-packed with theories, movements and attitudes as per the new age while keeping the historical, traditional and academic forms of art at bay. Moreover, the modern art is being updated as per the change in the economic, intellectual and social conditions of the country. You can observe the modern art paintings to be portrayed the current situation of the world, thus giving the art lovers a clear picture of what the artists want to convey in the painting. The trend of modern art is being started in French by a Frenchman in the 19th century. There are paintings that are being done by the famous artists Gustave Courbet, Edouard Manet and other artists which shows rejection towards the academic tradition and crave for portraying the world in a more natural way for easy understanding of the people. Moreover, whenever a person looks at the modern art, then he or she would be able to connect to what the artists want to portray. You can observe rejection of traditional techniques of art in the successors of Impressionist. In these paintings, the artist has expressed his opinion about the world in his personal way. To be precise, the artist has drawn into the painting in this personal vision. Their paintings are considered to be more modern over the other paintings that are drawn by the artists of the modern era. From 1980, the trend of modern art has started. The artists have instigated to come up with new styles and movements of art and these arts represent the Western visual culture. There are different modern art movements that took place in between 18th and 19th century. Few of them include Neo-Impression, Symbolism, Fauvism, Cubism, Expressionism, Constructivism, Social Realism, Abstract Expressionism, etc. These different types of movements have represented modern art in a unique way. In fact, these modern arts are considered to be the best way to express a spiritual response to the change in life conditions in the current era. In addition, you can notice the technological changes in the art form, using of scientific knowledge and perceiving values and beliefs. Moreover, these arts are creating awareness about the non-Western culture to the people across the globe. Indeed, people can learn about the other cultures through this modern art form. There is another art form that is being developed in the 20th century called abstract art. This art is painted with fingers instead of brushes and this art portrays about the nature and the existing physical world. In fact, advent of photography has also had a greater impact on the modern art. Basically, photography shows the pictures of the real world whereas modern artists also paint the pictures of the real world in a clear way. The modern architectural art has kicked off all the old styles of art forms such as revivals, classicism and eclecticism. In fact, the modern architectural form would utilize various forms and styles of art and technologies such as steel, glass, concrete and iron to build architecture. Ideally, before modernization, the western buildings were not being designed with ornaments and other decorative pieces. With the development of modern architecture, people have started using the modern styles to add aesthetic details to the buildings and are using various geometric themes. This kind of modern architecture is being embraced by the office building, commercial complexes and residential buildings. Modern Art Movements That Everyone Should Know About Modern art movements have already been the grey area as many people are not aware of it. There are myriad types of modern art movements which the current crop of artists is falling to embrace while drawing a beautiful painting. From Cubism to postmodernism, the art took different shapes and forms. Ideally, these movements are crucial for the people who are interested to learn about the history of modern art. In fact, this art gives a clear picture about the culture and art. No matter whether you are newbie or possess little knowledge about art, but these movements will definitely help you to understand and perceive the paintings that are showcased in the galleries and art museums and understand the essence in each painting like a pro painter. Impressionism 
This kind of modern art movement was observed to be in between the years of 1860 to 1880. Ideally, this kind of modern art was believed to be started in the year 1867. This is a crucial development and in fact is the revolution in the field of modern art and was started in France. This was defined as the beginning of modern art styles. In this art, the Impressionists have portrayed the past and have used the broken brush strokes of colours which are not blended. When you carefully observe the paintings of this area, you would find the broken brush strokes in every painting. The Impressionists have used the scientific knowledge of different colours to create eye-catching and appealing effects in their paintings. This painting has been created with different effects of lighting. In fact, many artists have used this style of painting to paint the effect of sunlight in the ways that you observe in the nature every day. In this painting, colours are being crucial to create the shimmering sunlight effect or other effects of the nature of the line. Ideally, Impressionism gives high priority to the effects of attention to detail and the artists who embrace this style of modern painting have tried to recreate the effects of what they have captured by the eyes about the nature rather than just recreating the same subject of the nature. In this kind of paintings, you can see the nature in a different perspective. To be precise, in this type of art, the artist's perception is portrayed rather than recreating the same art that is found in the nature. In fact, this art had influenced and gave rise to many other new art movements. In fact, there are a few artists who define Impressionism to be something that is captured by the artists by taking a glimpse over the nature or some object. You can observe the Impressionism paintings to be bright, bold and have very little details. Few of the famous artists who created Impressionism paintings and have won the hearts of many art lovers include Edgar Degas, Camille Pissarro, Alfred Sisley, etc. Pointillism This is another modern art movement which was defined during 1880s. This follows the Impressionism movement. This kind of painting is created by the artists where he or she captures the glimpse of an object or nature and recreates it in their own perspective. The artists put a new perspective about the object or something that he or she has identified in the nature in a new angle as he saw at the particular moment. You can observe broken brush marks in the paintings that were painted during this time. This movement has taken Impressionism a step ahead where the paintings are created with minuscule dots or the points that are made with different colours. You would be amazed to see the paintings of this movement. Though this movement was being developed from Impressionism, but the painting Grand de Jatte was developed with the state of the art technique and with careful planning. In fact, this painting is the contrast of both the Impressionism and Pointillism movement. The advantage of creating the painting with small dots is to add shimmering and catchy effect to the painting. In fact, when you observe this painting from a certain distance, it looks like all the points are getting joined together. The theory that was embraced by the pointillism artists is divisionism. This style of modern art has made use of different colours to create the art. This was the new discovery that was made by the pointillism artists. Art Nouveau Movement this is another wonderful modern art movement that was being created in late 1880s. This was a decorative style of art that was started at the end of 1880s and had a huge craze until the First World War. This art was named after the famous shop in Paris called La Mansion de l'Art Nouveau. The reason for taking the name of this shop as an art is that this art shop has helped the artists to get new ideas to produce unique paintings. This modern art movement has accentuated the historical paintings. This art is called by different names in different parts of the world. Ideally, in Germany, it is called with Jugendstil, in Austria it is called with Secessionstil, and in Spain it is called with Modernismo. Moreover, this art movement has its grass roots in the United Kingdom. William Morris has represented this art movement by adding romanticism and symbolism in the paintings. 
Also, you can notice leaves, vines, flowers, long flowing hair of females and ornamental motifs in the paintings. You can notice the different ideas that are taken from the decorative arts across the globe in these kinds of paintings. The paintings were added with exotic details and the focus on decorative pattern gave rise to the new form of art called abstract art. Ideally, paintings was not the only motto of this painting, but this kind of style is also used in jewellery designing, glass designing and interior designing. Apart from painting, this art was quite famous in graphic arts such as poster designing and illustrations. The artist who has won huge accolades by the art lovers in this style of the modern art movement was Gustav Klimt. In the Art Nouveau style of paintings, the artist has created the painting in international style which has portrayed the trend of the modern age and the change in the elements of this developing period blend with the spirituality. Fantasy and mythology have given rise to a new style of art. Though this kind of paintings has used latest techniques and new materials, but they have retained the uniqueness and beauty of the traditional craftsmanship. Few of the renowned artists who have created waves in this kind of art are Gustav Klimt, Walter Crane, Antonio Gordi, Louis Sullivan and Louis Tiffany. Post-Impressionism As the name suggests, this form of art is the development of Impressionism. This was started in the early 1889. This kind of art is great concern regarding the light and colour effects that were used in Impressionism paintings. However, the post-Impressionism movement was very much keen about expressing personal and spirituality in the art. Ideally, this art has rejected the short strokes of coloured paint that were used in Impressionism movement and encouraged the artists to take Impressionism a step further and lay a strong foundation for the discovery of modern art for the coming years. This term was proposed by the famous English art critic Roger Fry after going through the artwork of various artists including Vincent van Gogh, Henry de Toulouse-Lautrec, etc. This movement does not have a set of artists from one region, but the artists who embraced this style of art were dispersed geographically. The artists who ever was interested in this movement of modern art have started creating arts using the techniques and style of the arts. Paul Gauguin has migrated to Tahiti to create beautiful and colourful paintings of Tahitians. Many of the artists who wanted to try this movement of art have moved from their cities to the rural areas to create a wonderful piece of artworks. Van Gogh, one of the artists in this period, have closely worked with the peasant community and portrayed their emotions and hardships in this artwork. He was a great painter who has created the painting with short strokes of lights into curvy lines that are made of amazing colours. Fauvist Movement the word fauve means wild beasts. It means you could imagine how wild and vibrant the paintings of this movement would be. This kind of movement took place at the end of the 19th century. In this type of paintings, the artists have used vibrant and intense colours to portray the paintings in a non-naturalistic way. This kind of movement allowed the artists to express their imagination about the landscapes and people in their perspective and by using a wide variety of colours by expressing something beyond the image painted in a vague manner. This movement was originally started in 1905 and this kind of paintings were showcased first in Paris. The name for this painting was coined by the art critic Louis Vauxhaus. He gave this name as the classical sculpture was being exhibited in between the Fauvist paintings called to be Donatello or Milieu de Fauve. These paintings are found to be like wild beasts. This movement is a step further to Impressionist and Post-Impressionists where short brush marks were used. However, in this painting you find bold distortion forms and vibrant colours. This Fauvist paintings has no three-dimensional space but has two-dimensional surface with vibrant coloured brush marks. Few of the famous Fauvist artists include Georges Rollat, Maurice de Vlamnik, André de Rain, etc. There is another great artist who used to paint a Fauvist painting, is a professor in Paris and he is Gustave Moreau.
by thinking out of the box about the modern art has made the artist to give birth to forced paintings. Expressionism This art style was started in 1910 and has traces of international modern art, including cinemas, literature, theatres and dance. So you can observe all these elements in the paintings of this kind of artwork. Basically, expressionism is something where the emotional aspects of humans are expressed clearly. You could find the same emotional effect in the paintings. Ideally, impressionists have portrayed whether they have observed from the real world in their perspective, but in this kind of movement, the artists will embed his own emotions, feelings and personality in the paintings to depict the world. The artist is giving his or her emotional response to the world on what they have observed from their surroundings, rather than just painting what they saw in the world. You can see the artist's reaction to the situations of what is happening around the world. This is the best way to express your thoughts about a particular situation that has shaken the entire world. This movement was coined in the year 1910 in Germany, i.e. in the beginning of the 21st century. You can find the roots of this German artist in Impressionist and Fauvist movement. Ideally, the Roman artists in the 19th century used to express their emotions on the real situation that had happened in the world. This is like manipulating the reality by adding the ingredient called emotions. In this type of art style, the artists have used vibrant and unnatural colours to express the emotional effect in a better way. You can observe the paintings of Van Gogh to identify the colours, brush marks and shapes that we use to express the emotions. The paintings of this artist were spellbound. German artists have an important place in the Expressionism movement. Apart from these artists, the other group called the Bridge, also called as Dear Brücke, has also a meaty role in this movement. Few of the artists who have contributed to this art style include Eri Heckel, Karl schmidt rottluff Max Pechstein and Emil Nolde. There is another Expressionism group that was formed by Vasily Kardinsky. The main object of Dear Brook is to cement the gap between the past Germany and future Germany. The artists took the essence from the medieval art and sculptures of a bygone era to create unique paintings. The elements extracted from the painting of previous periods have helped them to add a new lease of life to the insipid and unemotional paintings. In fact, the artists who embrace this style of art have also taken inspiration from the other famous artists, especially Van Gogh, who have worked on the paintings that are loaded with emotions. Many of the artists took vows that they will not paint the artwork of the imaginary things, such as women knitting something and men doing reading or other works. Instead, they decided to show the pain, love, feel and breathe of the people. After Nazis came into power in Germany, the work of many artists was seized and not recognized. Few of the artists who have contributed to the Expressionism movement include Ernst Ludwig Kirchner, August Mack, Franz Mark, etc. The Blaue Reiter This art movement was started in 1911 and was ended in 1914. Basically, Der Blaue Reiter is another group of Expressionism artists of the 20th century. The name of this movement was taken from the painting which was drawn by Wassily Kandinsky featuring horsemen. This horse became pretty popular and in fact has become a group name for Kandinsky and Franz Mark. Alike to that of Der Brücke, another group of artists, i.e. Der Blaue Reiter, who brought a sea change in the artwork. In fact, this group has conducted exhibitions for the artists who want to express their thoughts in the form of art. And this art group was formed by three famous artists. There include Wassily Kandinsky, Franz Mark and Gabriel Monta. All these artists have the common belief towards art that has expressed their thoughts in art and colour their emotions. Wassily Kandinsky wrote about the art theories which have thrown light on abstraction. The most commendable and brilliant work of him is concerning the spiritual in art. The Der Blaue Reiter group has conducted the first art exhibition in the year 1911, in which 14 artists have showcased their work. 
Out of those 14, the are prolific artists Wassily Kadinsky, August Mack, Franz Mark, and many others. This artist group has conducted their second art exhibition in the year 1912, and this was pretty bigger than the first art exhibition, where 30 artists have exhibited their artwork to the crowd, and out of those 30 artists, there are Pablo Picasso and Paul Klee. However, this art was being ended in the beginning of First World War and after the death of the Franz Mark and August Mackey. In fact, the Der Blauer Reiter group was marked as a breakthrough in the Expressionism art movement and in promoting the artwork of Expressionism. This movement has helped the artists realize that art is the best way to express emotions and in fact, this paved a path for the abstract art movement. In fact, this is said to be a revolution in the field of art. Cubism This movement was started in 1908 and ended in 1920. History says that this artwork was invented by Pablo Picasso. This brings a phenomenal transformation in the artwork and this art clearly indicates that it was influenced and have roots of African and primitive art forms. This piece of artwork has romanticism in the artwork, where the faces of the people are masked and are made with sharp angular forms. In fact, you observe that the entire image is distorted. However, the name of this art style was given after the painting that was done by the artist Henry Matisse. In one of his paintings, Georges Braque's houses, the entire artwork was with small cubes. After this painting has been exhibited in the art exhibition, this term has become popular in the artwork and artists started followed this art style to portray their art. This is considered to be the most modern art among other movements. In fact, this art has brought a sea change in the artwork and have totally changed the meaning of art. This art style has reflected the work of a great artist, Paul Cezanne. In his paintings, you can observe the structure that is broken into small forms while accentuating the important area in the art. The key trait of this art form is that the art is shown single viewpoint from where you can notice the different subject and perceive each subject in a different perspective. In fact, the cubism artists took a step ahead and portrayed the objects in the art as if they are visible on all sides simultaneously. Futurism This art style was started in the year 1909 and ended in 1914. This kind of art has roots of Italian country. You can notice the Italian taste in this kind of art. Ideally, the other art movements were started from the ideas taken from the previous artistic work. But this futurism art style is a brand new idea of art where ideas of an artist are put on the painting board to create appealing visual arts. In fact, this technology has all important elements of modern art, i.e. technology, violence, speed, youth and modernization. It is the one that has driven for the growth of fascism. This art was developed by the famous poet Filippo Marinetti's Futurism Manifesto in the year 1909. This artwork was very passionate but was disrespecting the old things that are expressed especially in arts and politics. The main aim of this artwork is to amaze people with the wonderful artwork. This artwork has covered all the fields such as architecture, ceramics, theatre, films, literature, textiles, etc. In fact, this artwork has pulled the eyes of the young artists to convert their ideas into visual arts that are appealing and eye-catching. However, the young artists took a lot of time to put their ideas in the form of art and come up with a beautiful and meaningful painting. This futurist art has taken divisionism theory as a reference to create wonderful images that are full of dots and strips using a wide variety of colours. After the futurist artists attended the exhibition that was conducted by the cubist artists in Paris in the year 1911, they started to embrace the techniques that were used by the cubist artists to paint the pictures. In fact, the futurists considered this to be the best way to analyse the power of paintings. The artists are able to extract the force lines of paintings to draw wonderful artworks. 
Though the futurists have learned a lot of new techniques from the Cubists, but still their artwork was completely different to that of Picasso and Braque. Though the futurists did not produce the artwork that is something different, but have mostly produced the paintings that are full of urban communities and vehicles in motion. The movement and focus of Cubists drastically contradict. Constructivism Constructivism is another form of art style that was started in 1917 and ended in the year 1921. This kind of artwork has its roots from the Soviet Union, Russia. Though it is not considered to be an art movement, but was a new trend of art that has grabbed the eye of the artists to learn the trend and produce the paintings. However, this artwork was closely related to manufacturing, applied arts, industry and architecture. However, the constructivism has spread its swings to other parts of the country apart from Russia, such as Paris, London and USA. In addition to Russia, this kind of art was mostly encouraged in one of the art schools in Germany. In fact, many of the artists who have contributed their valuable paintings in this art movement have come from different parts of the world. There are a few Russian artists who have introduced this art movement in other countries. Those artists include Naum Gabo, Elisitsky and Antoine Pevsner, Dutch Theo van Doseberg and many others. However, this art was born from the Russian Futurism art movement. You can notice the stylistic signs of earlier art movement in the sculptures. Vladimir Tatlin, who stole the work of great Picasso and Braque in the art exhibition that was held in Paris in 1913, have taken the ideas from their paintings and implemented the same in the construction work when he had returned to Russia. This is when the constructivism art movement has come into force. Like to that of futurism, even constructivism is something that has completely accepted the modernity in the artwork. The artwork that was produced by the artists was totally of geometric shapes and sheer experimentation. Ideally, this kind of artwork was optimistic but did not portray anything emotional. However, the artwork was portrayed as per the preferences of the individual artist. The best trait of this artwork is that the entire artwork was simplified that any art lover can understand the meaning that is portrayed in the painting. This artwork has come into force after the First World War. This art movement wants to wipe off all the art styles that were before and that had to lead to the war. The new artwork has promoted peace, harmony and unity, also it portrayed about the economic and social issues of the countries in a diplomatic way. This kind of art movement was started by the two famous artists, Naum Gabo and Antoine Pevsner. This artwork has highly influenced by the political situation during those times in Russia. In fact, the government of Russia has thought of teaching this new form of art in their art schools to the building artists. The chairman of this art school at that time was Vasily Kadinsky, but he was very much interested in mysticism. Ideally, constructivism was considered to be the piece of the art that was made of different materials and spatial presence. The first constructivism art had three-dimensional constructions, but later it has spread its swings to two-dimensional constructions including posters, books and graphic arts. Few of the famous constructivist artists include Naum Gabo, Vladimir Tatin, Elisitsky, Alexander Rodchenko, etc. Dadaism. This kind of art movement was the outbreak of the First World War. Similar to that of the other art movements, this kind of art movement was also the reaction against the elements that are being established in the past. This artwork has strongly protested the colonial attitudes and nationalists who are believed to be the main reason behind the First World War. The colonial attitudes have triggered the people to go to the war. However, many of the poets, artists and musicians were spellbound by seeing the capability of the people who participated in fighting the world war. Ideally, the data movement was against the traditional logic, since this logic is what triggered for a war. The Dadaists have worked against the traditional logic and reason and fought against the irrationality by portraying the same in the artwork. Ideally, this kind of art style was considered to be an anti-art movement since this is not anything that a traditional art piece possesses. 
Moreover, this kind of art has totally rejected the aesthetic details added to the art, rather the artists who embrace this form of art style has made the paintings visually appealing. In fact, this art was being embraced by the artists to disdain and trigger the aggressiveness in people. However, not any of the artists could clearly tell about how the Dadaism movement was started. People believe that this theory was started by the Romanian artists, since these people use the words Da, meaning yes. There is another belief that the name of this art was given by the group of Zurich artists and the poet named Tristan Sara and picked an apt name from the dictionary. Ideally, in French the word Dada means child's hobby's horse. Basically, this art was being started in Europe, US and later was spread to the other countries. But this art form was humorous in American form of the European art form. However, this humorous form of the art was produced by Marcel Duchamp. In fact, the beautiful and the unintentable creation of Duchamp is Mona Lisa has a moustache and beard. However, apart from this, there is another famous artwork that is being produced by Duchamp, i.e. fountain. This kind of artwork looks alike to that of a urinal basin. However, this piece of art was being taken and exhibited in the gallery. This artwork was submitted to the Society of Independent Artists exhibition in the year 1917. As per the exhibition policy, this artwork was being hidden since this is considered not to be an art. This was the decision taken by the exhibition committee. However, this committee decides on whether or not to showcase the piece of art in the gallery. Duchamp has submitted this artwork under the name R. Mutt, where the exhibition committee is unaware that he is a famous artist. As and when the exhibition committee rejected his art to be exhibited in the gallery, then he resigned the board of independent artists as a kind of protest. However, this piece of fountain is an art that is something that has been physically created by an artist. Few of the famous artists who have contributed in the Dadaism art movement include Georges Grosch, Otto Dix, Hans Richter, etc. This Stigio This kind of art movement was started in the year 1917 and ended in the year 1931. This is a Dutch kind of artwork. This kind of artwork lets the artists understand on how to produce the painting that is as per their aim in a simple approach. This artwork was taken from the roots of mysticism. In fact, this artwork has a great influence from the Parisian Cubism and believe that Picasso and Braque have failed to go furthermore to portray the emotions or landscapes or nature in the abstract form. In this kind of movement, you can notice the artwork that is full of straight lines, planar surfaces, geometrical figures, colours and other neutrals. In fact, by embracing various forms of art techniques, the artists were able to portray the laws of equilibrium for life and art. This movement has poets, artists, typographers, sculptures and architects who were able to extract the crux of the movement. Surrealism Surrealism is another art movement that has its roots in Dadaism and was founded in the year 1924. In this art form you can find the artists portraying the culture and rationalism. In this art movement, the artists have embraced thoughts rather than focusing on the aesthetic details of the paintings. This is the quite famous artwork in the modern era and this art movement has become famous with the painting produced by Salvador Dali. This surrealism art was famous for its eye-catching and appealing images. In the paintings, both the dreams and the things happening around the world are portrayed and so got the name as surreal. Few of the surrealism artists include Jean Arp, Max Ernst, etc. Ideally, surrealists have worked in various fields such as literature, sculpture, poetry and films. Though many artists are embracing the new artworks, but they are still using the techniques of surrealism. This kind of artwork was being used by the surrealists to represent the world that is with dreams and reality. However, this piece of art is away from violence, romanticism, decay and scatology. Abstract Expressionism This is the first art movement that was coined in the United States having its roots in the 1940s.
This kind of movement is also called by another name, i.e. action painting, where emotional content was portrayed in a better manner. Few of the famous artists who have contributed their works in this kind of art include Clifford Still, Jackson Pollock, Helen Frankenthaler, etc. Minimalism after the astounding success of abstract expressionism, minimalism is an art movement that has portrayed the physical relationship of people with the artwork. Few of the famous artists who have portrayed this kind of art include Tony Smith and Donald Judd. The above mentioned are a few types of art movements that have created waves in the past few decades. However, even today the artists are using the techniques that were embraced in the preceding periods to produce unique, eye-catching and appealing artwork. How modern art is different of the other art forms Here are a few characteristics that define the uniqueness of modern art. Different types of arts the modern art form has gave life to different art forms such as collage, photography, animation, land art and performance art. Using various materials In the modern art, the artists have started using various materials to create unique piece of art that is meaningful and eye-catching. In fact, few painters are using newspapers, glass pieces, steel and fragments of other items to create art. There are a few artists, one among them is Duchamp, who has created junk art. This form of art was created with the everyday debris such as wood boxes, suitcases, clocks, old cars, etc. Use of wide variety of colours There are a few famous art movements such as Fauvism, Expressionism, etc. have started using colours in a unique way. Embracing new techniques Chromolithography is a technique that was being developed by Jules Charest, who is a famous poster artist. Automatic drawing was being developed by Fotage, a surrealist painter, but there are other forms of art techniques that are being developed and are in use by the artists.